Shanghai Travel, China Travel Informations: Ten Things to Do in Shanghai and Five Not to Do. The Bund. The Bund is an iconic symbol of Shanghai and a must-visit attraction for any visitor to the city. This promenade stretches for 1.5 miles along the Huangpu River and is lined with an eclectic mix of colonial-era buildings on one side and modern skyscrapers on the other. The Bund is a testament to Shanghai's rich history and its rapid development into a global economic powerhouse. Walking along the Bund is a truly unforgettable experience. The riverfront promenade offers stunning views of the city skylines, with the towering skyscrapers on one side and the historic buildings on the other. The best time to visit the Bund is at night, when the buildings are illuminated, creating a spectacular view. The lights reflect off the waters of the Huangpu River, adding to the magic of the scene. In addition to walking along the promenade, you can also take a river cruise to see the Bund from a different perspective. There are several tour operators offering sightseeing cruises along the Huangpu River, with options ranging from a quick 30-minute ride to a more leisurely two-hour excursion. A river cruise is a great way to see the city's skyline from a different angle and appreciate the contrast between the old and new buildings. The Bund is also home to several famous landmarks, including the Peace Hotel, the Customs House, and the iconic Oriental Pearl Tower. These landmarks are worth a visit and offer a glimpse into the city's history and culture. Yu Garden. Yu Garden is a tranquil oasis in the middle of bustling Shanghai, offering visitors a chance to immerse themselves in Chinese culture and history. The garden was built during the Ming Dynasty in the 16th century and has since been restored and expanded. The garden's design is inspired by traditional Chinese landscape paintings, with rock formations, ponds, pavilions, and bridges, creating a serene and harmonious atmosphere. One of the highlights of Yu Garden is the exquisite jade rock, a unique rock formation that is said to have been brought to Shanghai from Lake Taihu in Jiangsu Province. The rock is over three meters high and is made up of 72 holes and 108 peaks, with water flowing through the holes and creating a soothing sound. Another must-see attraction in Yu Garden is the Nine Turn Bridge, a winding bridge that symbolizes the path to enlightenment in Buddhism. The bridge is surrounded by water and offers picturesque views of the garden's pavilions and rock formations. Nanjing Road. Nanjing Road is one of the most famous and bustling shopping streets in the world, attracting millions of visitors each year. The road stretches for 3.4 miles from the Bund to Jing'an Temple and is home to over 600 shops and restaurants. It's a shopper's paradise, offering everything from luxury brands to local specialty stores. One of the highlights of Nanjing Road is the famous Nanjing Road pedestrian street, which is closed to traffic and offers a safe and enjoyable environment for shoppers to stroll along. The street is lined with an impressive array of shops, ranging from high-end retailers like Louis Vuitton and Gucci to local souvenir shops selling everything from silk scarves to traditional Chinese handicrafts. In addition to the shopping, Nanjing Road is also home to several historic buildings that are worth a visit. One of the most iconic landmarks is the Art Deco-style Park Hotel, which was built in 1934 and is a popular spot for afternoon tea or cocktails. The hotel's lobby is adorned with marble floors, stained glass windows, and a grand staircase that leads up to the rooftop bar. Another historic building on Nanjing Road is the Shanghai Number、no. One Department Store, which was built in the 1920s and is one of the oldest and most famous department stores in China. River Cruise. A river cruise along the Huangpu River is one of the best ways to experience Shanghai's skyline and get a sense of the city's history and culture. The Huangpu River divides the city into two parts: Pudong to the east and Puxi to the west. And the river cruise offers a unique perspective on both sides. As you cruise along the river, you'll pass by some of Shanghai's most iconic landmarks, including the Oriental Pearl Tower, the Shanghai Tower, and the Jin Mao Tower. These skyscrapers are a testament to Shanghai's rapid development and modernization over the past few decades, and are truly a sight to behold from the water. In addition to the skyscrapers, the river cruise also offers glimpses of Shanghai's historic architecture, such as the Bund and the Wai Baidu Bridge. These landmarks are a reminder of Shanghai's past as a colonial trading port and offer a fascinating contrast to the modern cityscape. There are several types of river cruises to choose from, depending on your interests and budget. Sightseeing boats are the most popular option, offering a one-hour cruise that covers the main sights along the river. Dinner cruises are also available, providing an opportunity to enjoy a meal while taking in the views. Shanghai Museum. The Shanghai Museum is a world-class cultural institution that showcases the rich history and cultural heritage of China. 
It is widely regarded as one of the best museums in China and is a must-visit attraction for anyone interested in Chinese art and history. The museum's collection is vast and diverse, with over 120,000 pieces of art and artifacts spanning 5,000 years of Chinese history. The collection includes ancient Chinese bronzes, ceramics, jade, calligraphy, and paintings, as well as rare and exquisite pieces of furniture, textiles, and costumes. The museum's galleries are organized thematically, making it easy for visitors to navigate and learn about different aspects of Chinese culture. One of the highlights of the museum is the Bronze Gallery, which features some of the finest examples of ancient Chinese bronzes in the world. These bronzes were used for ritual purposes and are adorned with intricate designs and inscriptions, providing a glimpse into the religious and cultural practices of ancient China. The museum also features a beautiful garden, which provides a peaceful and serene escape from the hustle and bustle of the city. Dine on Street Food Shanghai is a food lover's paradise with a rich culinary tradition that blends the flavors of different regions of China. One of the best ways to experience Shanghai's cuisine is through its street food, which offers a wide variety of snacks and dishes that are both delicious and affordable. One of the most famous Shanghai street foods is Xiaolongbao, or soup dumplings. These themed dumplings are filled with meat or vegetables and a savory broth and are traditionally served with a small dish of vinegar and ginger. Xiaolongbao are a must-try item for any visitor to Shanghai and can be found at street carts and restaurants all over the city. Another popular Shanghai street food is Shengjianbao, or pan-fried buns. These crispy buns are filled with pork and a savory broth and are fried on one side until golden brown. They are typically served with a sprinkling of sesame seeds and scallions and make for a satisfying and filling snack. Jiangbing, or Chinese crepes, are another must-try item for anyone visiting Shanghai. These thin pancakes are made from a batter of wheat and mung bean flour and are filled with a variety of ingredients such as egg, scallions, and pickled vegetables. Jianbing are a popular breakfast food in Shanghai and can be found at street carts and food stalls throughout the city. If you're looking for a great place to sample Shanghai's street food, head to the Yu Yuan Bazaar or the Tianzi Fang area. The Yu Yuan Bazaar is a bustling market that offers a wide variety of street food snacks as well as souvenirs and traditional Chinese handicrafts. The Tianzi Fang area is a maze of narrow alleys and lanes that are lined with shops, galleries, and street food vendors. Traditional Tea Ceremony Tea is an important part of Chinese culture, and attending a traditional tea ceremony is a great way to learn about its history and traditions. You'll learn about the different types of tea, how to brew it, and how to appreciate its flavor and aroma. Some of the best places to attend a tea ceremony are the Hu Xin Ting Tea House in the Yu Yuan Garden and the Shanghai Tea Culture Center. Tianzi Fang Tianzi Fang is a vibrant and eclectic arts and crafts district in Shanghai that has become a must visit destination for locals and tourists alike. The district is located in the former French concession area and is known for its narrow alleyways filled with galleries, shops, and cafes. One of the highlights of Tianzi Fang is the unique mix of traditional and contemporary art and crafts that can be found there. Visitors can browse through a wide variety of handcrafted items, from handmade jewelry and pottery to vintage clothing and accessories. The district is also home to many contemporary art galleries, showcasing the works of both established and up-and-coming artists. Tianzi Fang is also a great place to explore and discover unique and interesting shops and boutiques. Visitors can find everything from quirky home decor to stylish fashion accessories, as well as a range of locally made souvenirs and gifts. Zhu Jiajiao Zhu Jiajiao is a charming and picturesque water town located about 30 miles from Shanghai. The town is known for its historic bridges, canals, and buildings and offers a peaceful escape from the hustle and bustle of the city. One of the best ways to explore Zhu Jiajiao is by taking a boat ride along the canals. The boats are operated by local residents and offer a unique perspective on the town's historic architecture and scenic waterways. As you float along the canals, you'll see ancient bridges, traditional buildings, and beautiful gardens, all of which combine to create a tranquil and serene atmosphere. Another must-visit attraction in Zhu Jiajiao is a Kezi Garden, which is a beautiful example of a traditional Chinese garden. The garden features winding paths, rock formations, and a variety of plants and flowers, creating a peaceful and harmonious environment. Visitors can explore the garden's various pavilions, halls, and courtyards and learn about the history and significance of Chinese gardens. Enjoy the nightlife. Shanghai is a city that never sleeps, and its vibrant nightlife scene is a testament to that. 
Whether you're in the mood for a glamorous rooftop bar, a trendy lounge, or an underground music venue, Shanghai has something to offer for everyone. One of the most popular areas for nightlife in Shanghai is the Bund, where you can find some of the city's most glamorous rooftop bars. Another popular area for nightlife is the former French concession, where you'll find a wide variety of hip clubs, lounges, and bars. The area is known for its trendy and fashionable crowd, and is a great place to experience Shanghai's vibrant and cosmopolitan atmosphere. For those looking for a more underground experience, the Hongkao District is a great place to go. The area is home to a variety of music venues and underground clubs, where you can listen to everything from indie rock to electronic music. Many of these venues are small and intimate, offering a unique and intimate experience for music lovers. Five warnings. Plan your trip ahead of time to avoid crowds and long lines. Many attractions offer online ticket booking, so take advantage of it. Learn a few basic phrases in Mandarin, such as "hello," "thank you," and "how much does it cost." This will help you communicate with locals and make your trip more enjoyable. Be prepared for the weather. Shanghai has a humid subtropical climate with hot and humid summers and cool and dry winters. Make sure to pack accordingly and bring an umbrella in case of rain. Be aware of scams and pickpockets. Keep your valuables close and be wary of anyone who approaches you on the street offering tours or other services. Respect local customs and traditions. Avoid doing anything that could be considered offensive, such as taking photos of people without their permission or wearing revealing clothing in temples.